join us. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. We're going to do a double header this time, Master and Apprentice, Luminara Unduli and Barris Offie. I decided to do a double because for the whole month of May, I'm going to be putting this on hiatus, um, simply because I'm going to have a video almost every single day for May celebrating the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace, so we'll be looking at something Phantom Menace related almost every single day. There may be some new stuff littered throughout, um, but yeah, it's a bit of an undertaking, so I've decided Clone Wars will just have a little rest until June, it'll be back. So I thought, let's do a double header for this one. Um, so yeah, I've got the got the two figures here, got the card backs, got the uh, one trading card that comes with Barris because the cards weren't coming out when uh, Luminara was released, at least this one. So yeah, there, picture of Barris with the brain worms. <laughs> So we'll take a look at Luminara's card. There's a picture of her up the top there. There's a picture of the figure. The Clone Wars 30. It says, Jedi Master Luminara unduly encounters dangerous enemies while bringing a notorious Separatist leader to stand trial. Battle droids attack the Jedi cruiser, support, transporting Newt Gunray and the assassin Asajj Ventress secretly boards the ship. Luminara faces battles and betrays as she and betrayals as she fights to retain, retain custody of her, of her important prisoner. Some other figures there. I think I own all of them except for that AT, AT, AT driver battle droid. So there's Luminara and Barris. It's still a fantastic figure. Includes brain worms, which I will show you. Barris Offie is infected with a Geonosian brain worm. The Padawan has survived the battle to destroy a droid factory on Geonosis. She is aboard a medical frigate when she and several other passengers are infected. Brainwashed by the worm, she attacks fellow Padawan Ahsoka, who struggles to save the ship and all on board. And giving, given that we're going to be getting a closer look on May the 4th at what happens with Barris Offie after the Clone Wars... It's going to be very interesting. So there's some other figures there. Uh, only one I'm missing was the Riot Control clone. I've done reviews on Wolf and Eth Koth. I don't think I've done Colt yet. But yeah, we'll pop them back there. And let's start with the Master Luminara. We'll bring the light down a little bit more. There we go. So yeah, this is still a really nice figure. She's quite petite and dainty in terms of the size of the figure. Quite skinny legs. But she's got all the joints. Got all the good joints, which you want. Um, I remember getting the Luminara from Attack of the Clones. That sort of pre-posed one with the big, wild, flowing sort of Jedi dress. It's... It's a figure that I put away for a long time, cause, just because I was like, oh, I sort of got over that whole pre-posed look. But now I certainly certainly respect some of those figures. I'd never got the Barris from Attack of the Clones. Um, but yeah, this, one's, this one translates very nicely from animation to uh, action figure style. She comes with a lightsaber. She does come with a hilt as well. That is in my accessory box. Why would you display her having both? I don't know. That's just me. I love the sort of ornate designs on the front there. It looks so nice. And we did just get these two characters. Sort of a bit of a re-release in the vintage collection. And sort of inspired by their paint deco colours of the 2003 Clone Wars. But yeah, love love the look of the headdress. Really, really cool. Focus, come on. 
There we go. Yeah, really nice. Articulation wise, just got a ball joint in the head, ball hinge in the shoulders, in the elbows. There is a swivel at the forearm there. There's a swivel at the waist. I think she's just got a swivel, swivel at the hips. She does have the hinge in the knees and the hinge in the ankles on those petite little feet. She does have some tiny little peg holes and you know they will sort of fit over the peg, but obviously being they're quite shallow, they don't go all the way in. But it's enough to support the figure, it will hold. Um, kind of just got to push it on a little bit. Yeah, a little bit tricky, but it's doable. Because I've done it. <laughs> and yeah, kind of, I've kind of found you've got to have her holding the lightsaber with two hands. Because it's, like I said, it's quite quite dainty the hands are quite small so to have her holding one lightsaber is a little bit tricky but it's doable and yeah she's a nice figure so let's get her on the stand and move her back. I'll try to anyway. <laughs> there we go. Be good. Stay there. Thank you. All right, here is Barris. I'm going to pop her off the stand. In terms of paint applications, this is still... Focus. There we go. This is still such a wonderful looking figure. I've actually kept the elastic band on on her hand holding the lightsaber. Oh, there I put another one on there, I'm not sure. But yeah, really, really love this figure in terms of its, you know, the, the fabric of the cloth. Let me just look at a, a worn leather look. Looks nice. And the, uh, the details in the sculpt of the headdress and the, sort of the shawl that's going over her back is fantastic. Really, really nice. And then just the, the the ribbed look of her suit there looks nice. Got the little symbol there on her belt. Almost looks like a little heart. <laughs> She's got a little bit of a force gesture going on there with her hand. Sorry guys, my camera wants to focus on the card backs in the background. But I just want to get up nice and close. Yeah, those bright blue eyes. So nice. Down to the legs, they're pretty basic. Yeah, she's certainly lacking articulation. Whereas uh, Barris was, sorry, Luminara was pretty, pretty full on articulated, but uh, it, it still works out okay. It's still fine, you know. It looks good. Figure looks good. That's the main part. Uh, she has a ball joint in the head. There's a ball hinge in the arms. Simply has a swivel there. No elbow joints. All right, her arms are a little bit more slender. Uh, this is a swivel at the waist and then just a swivel in the legs no knees no ankles but not a big deal in my opinion I'm not faced by that whatsoever but we are going to have a look at the worms let's see how the peg fits so the peg fits perfectly on that so that's nice so she does look fantastic these two side by side, master and apprentice. Let's look at them brain worms. I've got a big handful of brain worms here. I know some of these are probably extras. Um, I feel like one of the Gian Oceans came with them. Still one of the strangest accessories to come from an action figure, to be honest. <laughs> it's it's a, it's an odd one. 
it. So you can sort of just wrap them around the figure and um, do what have you. You know, sort of loop them around. Maybe one of the cl clones came with it. I can't remember. And then there was this little guy here, which is like the egg. All right, let's put him on the lightsaber. Just for poops and gigs. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my action figure has worms. But it's still cool. It's, you know, so that things like this that I don't think we'd see, you know, in current Star Wars action figures. I don't think we get that sort of thing these days. So I've got a handful of worms. <laughs> Look at them. Such a, such a funky, weird accessory. So yeah, I'm going to bring them up both both close and you look at them side by side. Master and Apprentice. Luminara Unduli. And Barris, Out of Focus, Offy. So yeah, looking forward to Tales of the Empire coming out May the 4th. We'll follow up on Barris' story. After her betrayal during the Clone Wars. Which, in a way, she wasn't wrong. Just the way she went about it wasn't good. So yeah, let me know what you think of these two guys. I'd love to, uh, love to hear your thoughts, comments, reactions. All that good stuff. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. We'll be back in June for more Clone Wars Thursday throwbacks. But yeah, strap in because uh, yeah, May is going to be a very Phantom Menace focused month here on my channel. So I hope you enjoy it. Till then, may the force be with you always.